Hello Dub Nation. I've got some thrilling news about James Wiseman and his journey since he left the Golden State Warriors. But before we jump into it, don't forget to give that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more exciting updates. Let's dive in. James Wiseman, the former second overall pick, is standing at a career crossroads, facing a persistent lack of opportunities ever since he parted ways with the Golden State Warriors. His most recent game was quite a ride, starting with three fouls in just the first two minutes on the court, which pretty much wiped out his chance for some serious playing time off the bench. In the second half, Wiseman made a brief comeback, managing to contribute with four points, two rebounds, an assist, and even a turnover. However, he also racked up four fouls in just over six minutes on the floor, making him the player with the lowest plus-minus at a discouraging minus 15 during that time. The young Trailblazers pulled off an impressive performance in the second half, leaving both the Pistons and their fans completely stunned. This unexpected turn of events hit the brakes on the Pistons' momentum, following their promising 2-2 start to the season. This season is truly pivotal for Wiseman, especially since he's in the final year of his rookie contract. Just as a reminder, Wiseman was originally traded to the Pistons during February's trade deadline, with the Warriors getting Gary Payton too in that 14th trade. But, on the brighter side, let's share some more good news. Otto Porter Jr., a crucial member of the Golden State's 2022 NBA Championship winning squad, finally made his highly anticipated return from injury. He played for just under 16 minutes in the Toronto Raptors' fantastic victory over the Milwaukee Bucks. Porter, who only appeared in eight games last season after leaving the Warriors, put on a remarkable performance, contributing with six points, three rebounds, an assist, and even a block. The 30-year-old managed to nail two out of four three-point attempts and had a significant plus 11 in their convincing 130-111 win. And for the Warriors, they'll soon have the chance to welcome Otto Porter and the Raptors back to Chase Center on January 8. It's going to be a thrilling matchup to catch. Meanwhile, they'll also be facing Wiseman and the Pistons for the first time at Little Caesars Arena on Monday. If you've enjoyed this update, make sure to show your support by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. Stay tuned for more exciting news heading your way very soon. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.